Have a nice day. Thank you. Keep moving. Keep moving. work, okay? And then we're gonna have a really nice afternoon. Oh, huggies. Oh, I love you. Bye. Bye. Hey. Sample of the new flyer. Oh, great. You got a minute? You can go to my office and review it. This looks great. Isn't it? You do a really nice job. Hey there, I'm Lisbeth. Can I help you? Uh, Joan? Could you bring us a nice pack? Yes. Why don't we go sit down? Is you here? Yeah. We have a nurse here at the shelter. Would you like to see her? No. No, I'm fine. You, know, you can file a police report against whoever did this. I don't want to make him any angrier. Who's he? Ben? My husband. Would you like us to help you? We have room here if you want to come stay. Go. Keep it. We're always here. You didn't do anything to deserve what happened to you. Hopefully she'll come back. Yeah, hope so. I didn't even get her name. Neither did I the first time you came in. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, just the way you like it. Oh, thanks. You remember it. Sure I did. How is everything? Oh, great. The girls are so lovely. Cool. Yeah. Cool. See you on Sunday. Okay? Be good. What are you doing here, Greg? What does it look like? This isn't your time to see them. <laughs> okay. So it's uh, five o'clock. That means in 19 hours, no more court order. Now, when I want to see my kids, I will. There's still a schedule. But don't tell me what to do, Lisbeth. They're my blood. Never forget that. Mommy? Hey, you too? You ready to go home? Wave goodbye to your daddy. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You can dress them in these tiny outfits and <laughs> you're so very welcome. Come on, we can go share. You know, you don't have to bring them something every time you come. I know, but I like being the fun aunt, even <laughs> if we're not officially sisters. Mm. Cheers. Mm. 
Speaking of fun, Michael has hired a new paralegal and he's really nice. We could keep it under wraps. A dinner, maybe? With me and Michael at our place? And then what? You gonna let us date in secret at your place too? Cause Greg will find out. And I can't afford to have my tires slashed again. Just wish I could find someone who would protect you. That's what I thought Greg was gonna do and look where we are. Greg could have fooled anyone. I know, I know, he still does. And he was just docked for child support. And his supervised visits are over, so I don't want to poke the bear. Well, if he doesn't play by the rules, Michael will take it to the judge and he won't get any visitation. See, I don't need another man. I have you and your husband to look out for me. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Okay, you two. It's late. Look. But Daddy, she doesn't push to bed. We can stay up as long as we want. Well, that sounds like fun. But if you go to bed late every night, then you won't have any energy to play. And I know you want to have fun with your new dolls. <sighs> I love you, my brave girls. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, too. Good night. beautiful girls. Uh, what's this? You let them bring toys to church? Uh, Mayor, honey, can you put it in your pocket? I think you need Godmother Fontina to teach you some manners, hmm? So one day, a nice Greek boy like your father will marry you. Fontina. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this face, huh? Like a Greek princess. So what do you say? Shall we live in a palace one day? All right. Well, only a few hours until it's daddy time. Taperas me kala? Night, Baba. Okay. Come on, let's go. Oh, hey, Yeah, of course. Girls, get your bags. Why is Fontina's son driving you? Why is that your business? Marianne, Meredith, let's go. Mommy, will you pick us up from daycare tomorrow? Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, okay? But you can always call me. Ah, uh, they won't be calling. They're with me. Have fun! Bye! Bye. Love you! Hey, Greg, have the girls unsupervised? Yeah, they left at the visitation restriction. Mm. I just wish I could have them all the time, you know? You should have seen his performance at church the other day. Like he was the best father in the world. I get you want to keep the girls connected to their heritage. But it's not yours. You don't have to keep going. Look. Why don't you come over to my place for dinner? We can talk about anything but Greg. <laughs> Thanks, Julia, but I just, I need to get home just in case he lets the girls call. All right. But I'm around if you need anything.
Frank Daniels. Leave me a message. Hey, Janet. I know I'm here early, but uh, can I just go grab the girls? They're not here. What? They weren't dropped off again today. I, I assume they were homesick. No, they're not. chance that he uh, he took the kids out lost track of time no no we have a very strict custody agreement because greg could be violent look up his record you'll see all the restraining orders against him have you tried contacting any of his friends family his family is in greece and his friends won't tell me anything do you mind if i make a quick call please yeah. hey it's peter i'm trying to locate a greg yakos you know him? Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, it's not yet confirmed, but the word is is that uh, you left town with your girls. Where, where, where did he I, go? I don't know. But I'll go by his house. If he's not there, I'll make sure that the report goes to the appropriate unit. What unit is that? Crimes against children. Don't, don't worry, okay? Don't get to the bottom of this. Okay. elbows off the table. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. Ma'am, if you don't stop hurting us, we can't live with you anymore. Is that so? Oh, there he is. Why don't you make yourself useful, Kova? Teach your stepkids some manners? Even your own daughter doesn't have any. Bye bye to your brother. It's the last time you'll see him because I found us a new daddy who's going to take good care of us. Okay, thank you. Detective Spring? Um, I'm Lisbeth Meredith. My children were kidnapped by their father, Gregory Diakos, and I was told to report to go to your department. There's not that much we can do without proof that he's actually left town. Then track his license plate or call the airports. Ms. Meredith, we don't have those types of resources. But my instincts are telling me he'll be back in a day or two. Do you know how many times I've called the police because of him, Detective? Five. And those weren't even for the times he beat me so badly he almost killed me. They were to file restraining orders against him, and he is still looking for ways to punish me. So my instincts are telling me that, no, he won't be back in a day or two. Please, will you help me? I'm sorry. I can't get a warrant for his arrest without proof of where he is. So that's just, that's it. You won't even report the missing? Not without a warrant. Look, I, I don't know. 
Detective Spring? Oh, yes, thank you for calling. Yeah, I do. I have it right here. Just leave these in the back of the church. Where is he, Fontina? Elizabeth. Your son drove Greg to pick up my girls. Where did he take them? What are you talking about? He's taken my children. My God, my God, Fontina, you are a mother. And he's their father. Doesn't feel so good to be without your children, does it? Can't you see what kind of a man he is? What I see is those girls need family, a proper family, like the one they have in Greece. Why would he take them? He didn't even show up for visitation half you the time. You know why? It's to punish me. It's what he does. Everything he does is to punish me for leaving him. Elizabeth, you can't just go to Greece and take your daughters back. Why not? Michael, he kidnapped my kids, and without proof, that detective won't get a warrant, won't even put my girls on the missing database. I understand your frustration, but the laws are different over there, and they're more likely to protect the man. You've got to follow protocol on this. He's right, Elizabeth. There's also the fact that Greece just entered the Hague Convention, which means that they must respect the custody agreements of the countries from where the children were taken. OK. But only if you don't break the law. I can't just sit around and wait for protocol on this. Someone has the proof I need. I need to find it. Help me. My ex-husband took my daughters and flew out of Anchorage, and I'm wondering if maybe he booked their travel through you. Maybe you have a travel documents or an itinerary. I'm sorry, but we can't disclose any client information. No, I, I understand that, but he kidnapped my girls, and I need to prove that he left the country. So if there's anything you can do to help, I'm sorry. I had no idea that Greg would do anything like this. I'm. So, you know him. We dated for a while. Uh, uh, not now, but he asked me to book him one-way tickets to Athens for him and his... for your daughters. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but then I read your story in the paper, and, and so I called the police. And um, the police know about this? Yes. I left a message for the detective on the case, and I told her that Greg had flown to Greece. She... Just wait, let me give you the... the itinerary. Thank you for this. Here, why would you ignore this? Your ex-husband was concerned about your mental state. You spoke to him? He came to see me. And I was sure his concerns were legitimate. Yeah, he is a masterful liar. Look, you're not the first person he's fooled, and you won't be the last. But we need to get that arrest warrant. And we need to make sure that my girls are entered into the FBI's NCIC database, and it needs to happen now. Okay. Well, I am trying to work with my local authorities, but I need help finding my girls, which is why I'm calling the State Department. No, I don't have a lawyer. Do you know where I could find one who understands Greek law? The phone book. That's very helpful, thank you. Oh my God.
Julia of the AWAIC. Do you think she could connect me to her father? Yeah. Yeah, I know he's President Clinton's lawyer. Ms. Meredith, mm -hmm. Lloyd Cutler. My daughter Bev is a great admirer of the work you've done with the AWAIC, and well, so am I. Thank you. Please have a seat. I've been reviewing your case, and to be frank, getting your daughters back won't be easy. Greece is its own country, and consequently, we have limited power there. What about the Hague Convention? Well, they may have signed it, but it's up to them to honor it. And if they don't, then you'll be fighting in their judicial system. What you need is a Greek lawyer living in Greece. I'll uh, get in touch with a colleague of mine in Thessaloniki. He's an old hand at dealing with cases like yours. Does that mean he's been successful? I think you should prepare yourself for the battle ahead. I've had more than my fair share of conversations with mothers and fathers who spent years trying to get their children back, despite the heck. Well, I'm ready. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you so much for calling. Do you have any news? I do. The courts in Greece have ruled to recognize and enforce your American custody order. That's amazing news. Uh, wow. Um, okay, I, I can be there in a few days. No, it is not necessary to come until we find your girls. I will call again when I know more. Adieu. Well, how will you find them, though? Hello? Are you sure about this? And their mother, Anne. I should be there, lighting a fire under whoever can help me find them. I know what it feels like to be unwanted, and it would kill me if they thought even for a second that I wasn't doing everything I could to help. Here. I don't want you sleeping on the streets. Anne. No, no, I don't want to hear it. You have probably maxed out everything you have just to get there. And I want to help, because I love those girls, too. Okay? Thank you. Let's get you on that flight. Um, I'm Elizabeth Meredith. I'm your client from Alaska. Miss Meredith, I wasn't expecting you. Yes, I know, but I needed to come. Please. Oh, thank you. I understand your desire to be here, but your presence won't help the process. Mr. Papadakis. My daughters were taken months ago, and other than recognizing my already legal custody, nothing has been done. Elizabeth, hi. hi. I'm Kali. Oh, hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. I work with Hector. Would oh. you like some water? Thank you, yes. Great. So Hector has been speaking to the embassy about securing passports for your daughters. Isn't that right? That's correct. Great, great. As soon as I find them, we'll be on the first flight back home. Miss Meredith, there is a process, and... If you just take your children back to Alaska, you will be prosecuted. And your embassy would have no choice but to work with the Greek authorities. I'm sorry, how can I be prosecuted if the Hague Convention is being followed? It's complicated. How is it complicated? 
My daughters were kidnapped by my ex-husband, who is a very dangerous man. There's nothing complicated about that. Why don't we get you something to eat? Yeah, thank you. Uh, that would be... that would be great. I still have a, a lot I need to do. I need to contact the consulate and... Do you... do you know of any good budget? Θα πρότεινα να μην γίνει πολύ φίλοι μαζί τη. Το ξέρει πω καταλήγουν συνήθω αυτέ οι ιστορίε. Πε τη ότι το καλύτερο που έχει να κάνει είναι να περιμένει. Το ξέρω. Let's go. Okay. That's it. Uh, it's just one bedroom, but the sofa falls out. This is incredibly kind of you. It's not Athens, but fair price hotels are hard to find in Thessaloniki. <laughs> but maybe we could keep this between us. Oh, yes, of course. I don't need another reason for Hector to be annoyed with me. He's not annoyed with you. Well, it's a process. He has to stay focused, and sometimes that's hard when emotions get involved. Trust Hector. He knows the system. He's really passionate at what he does. He will do everything he can. Okay. But there's got to be something that I can do. So I, I know what they're going through. The same thing happened to me when I was their age. My mother took me from my father. So, look, um, do you think Hector could help me get my story out to the local news? No, no, no. I don't think he would like that. Why? Last year, a foreign woman like yourself came to Greece to bring her children home. She picketed outside their school. She received a lot of attention. She ended up with more enemies than friends and never got her children back. Hi, um, I have an appointment. It's a pleasure and please let me tell you how sorry I am about your children. Thank you. I just hope the consulate can help find them. Of course, of course. Follow me. Okay. What exactly are you doing to locate them? There are avenues to explore the Ministry of Education, hospitals. Have you had any luck? Uh, your case just landed on my desk after your call yesterday. Um, okay, well, this might help. Um, just some most recent pictures of Meredith and Marianti and some information on Greg and his family here in Greece. Mm -hmm. Has he been in contact with you? No. No, I haven't heard from him or my girls since he took them. Well, it's a good thing I flew out here because until now the consulate has done absolutely nothing. So. I think we need to do what we can. Like, uh, hire a private investigator. Who did that? He saw your girls just once and took the money. He saw them? Where? When Greg visited his family. But after that, the investigator failed to find where they lived. Even though that's what the crook was paid to do. Okay. Okay, so we know that Greg is in communication with his family, right? So, so we go after them. We tap their phones. Tapping phones is illegal. Kidnapping is illegal. Why is this so hard? I won't take offense to that, because you're right. But that doesn't mean I'll break the law. And I won't hire any more investigators. I'll handle your case as I know how. You just have to be patient with our system. I have been, Hector. I have been patient. But I haven't seen my daughters in months. I haven't touched their hair or heard them laugh. I don't... I don't have any more patience. Thank you. That was a woman from the consulate. 
The ministry has Meredith and Marianne Sidiakos enrolled at the school not far away from here. She's going to meet you there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna see my girls tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my God. I, have to, I, have to get, I have to get them something. I have to pick up a toy or a gift or a treat or something. Don't just be happy to see their mother. That way, right? Yes, but I'm sorry I tried to reach you. Why? What do you mean? I just learned that uh, your daughters have not been at school for two days. What? Where are they? I don't know, but you I believe your ex-husband was informed of our contact with the school. You contacted the school? Yes. Why? We wanted to make Why? sure the girls were here. Oh, Liz, Liz, please. It was a bad decision, I'm sorry, but here's the principal. He will tell you they are not here. Where are Meredith and Marianti Diakos? I'm their mother. You must have some record of where they are, where they live. Ναι, για σας ψάχνω και μέρα τη φυκτή Μαρία Θεδιάκου. Γνωρίζετε που πρίσκονται. Δυστυχώς σήμερα δεν έχουν έρθει σχολείο και δεν ξέρουμε που μένουν. I'm sorry. He has no information to give you. The father never provided any. You have no idea what you've done. I assure you, you will find your daughters again. Yes, but now he knows I'm here. And he's had two days to run, knowing that I'm looking for them, and we have no idea where he'll take them or what he might do. We'll keep calling. Still nothing? No. Here. I know they made a mistake, but the consulate will locate them again. Until then, you're welcome to stay here for as long as you need to. That is so kind of you, but it took them months to find them this time. I don't have the money to hire my own PI. I spent everything I had just to get here. I don't want to leave, but I can't afford to stay. So I mean, until I can figure out how to pay for all of this, I have to go. Then go, and the next time you're here, it will be to take your girls back home. You don't want them. They don't ask about you anymore. Can you let me talk to them? Please put them on the put them on the phone. You won't get them back. And if you try again, I'll kill you. was gonna kill me. And all I could think was if I die, I won't be here for my son. To protect him and to fight for him if I need to.
Well, you're here. So now you can. Everyone is being very generous. Yeah. Let's hope we get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. Hi. Uh, can I speak to you for a minute? Sure. Yeah. Is everything okay? Greg has asked the Greek courts to award him legal custody. No, they can't do that. I, I have. I'm with him now, so there's a possibility that the Greek courts might not recognize your custody and award it to Greg. I'm sorry. Hi, hi, it's Lisbeth. I know it's really early over there, but I can't wait any longer. I need to find my girls now, so I need a private investigator. I know. I'll be sure to get the money. <sighs> I just settled Sophie into her room. Hmm. And her son? Yeah, he's with a friend. She's bringing him by. Good. Then you could go back to Greece knowing that they're safe. We did it? We did it. You have all the money you need to go and find your girls and 12 weeks of paid time off to do it. What? Everyone donated their vacation time. No one felt that they could take time off with their families knowing that you couldn't. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe you. Hug her before she hits me again. Come on now. <laughs> so, this is where he insists that you met him. That's him? Yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah. I have to tell you, after today, I cannot be involved. Because if Hector finds out that I found your PI, he will be furious with me. Yeah, no, no, I understand. Yeah, okay. Sit. No, thank you. Do you have the money? Yeah, I do. Do you have a plan? Of course. What is it? You don't need to question me. This is my job. I'm paying you a lot of money to do that job, so I'd like to know what the plan is. <laughs> you American women are aggressive, huh? <sighs> okay, so? I know people in his hometown his friends no no not his friends they'll just protect him you, you need to get to his family i'll go to tirnavos and we'll see while i'm gone you stay don't go anywhere no no i'm going with you i'm not staying here you're crazy they will see you i'm not gonna just sit here and do nothing i'm elizabeth i think you have to stay here it will be safer the last time someone else went to look for my girls they screwed it up so no no i'm, I'm going with him or he doesn't get paid Tomorrow, we go. Good. Tomorrow, then. That one. His sister's house. What are you going to say to her? But she needs to tell me where her brother is so he can pay me his debt. Do you think that'll work? Most people will listen to me.
Pak Mata ya. Ngom ku. Ya. Kalau berat. She said Greg is not here. He left Greece. But she doesn't know where. She's lying. Maybe. Greg's brother will know where he is. We were married. He used to talk to him on the phone every week. I'm sure he still does. Do what you have to do. Lizzie. Hey, Lizzie. No, thank you. Why do you think we left your real daddy? Hmm? He doesn't want you. Hasn't come looking for you, has he? Don't forget how lucky you are to have a daddy like Tony. Learn to show some gratitude. I did it. I tapped the phones and found the Pereira. Tomorrow, I'll take you to see your girls. We serve him with a court order, so in 24 hours, he must give you your daughters. 24? 24 hours? What's, what's to stop him from leaving with them again? Don't worry. I have friends in the village. We'll watch and make sure he stays. But I'll need money to pay them. I already gave you $12,000. To find your girls. And I did. You found them because I told you what to do. So, would you tap his brother's phone? Hmm? Like some American spy? Their price is 5,000. I, I don't, I don't have it. Um, uh, 2,000. That's all I have. Why did he take them? To punish me for leaving him. He was abusing me and I couldn't have them living like that anymore. It's finished in two minutes. Don't worry, he won't follow you. Το ξέρω ότι σ' αρέσει να χτυπάς γυναίκες, αλλά δεν θα είσαι τόσο σκληρός μαζί μου. Μέριδιθ και Μαριάνθη Διάκος. Ποιο είσαι. Είμαι η μάτρα τους. Ω, α... Πλείς, βάλτε εδώ. Οκ. Meredith, look, it's your mother. <laughs> Give her a hug. I've been looking for you for a long time. I've missed you so much. Go away! Leave me alone! I don't want to go with you! Marianne, stop it! Your mother loves you. She came to find you. No, she doesn't! She doesn't want us! I hate her! Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I know what your father told you. But I would never have left you. Not in a million years. 
Because I love you. I love you both so much. Please. You have to take them. They come to school only for a few days a month, and they've never bathed or cared for. They're just confused. We are all confused. They told us that you were dead. Their father's just been served with a court order giving him 24 hours to return them to me, but until then, there's nothing that I can do. Girls, hey, I'll see you tomorrow. It's gonna be okay. I promise you, okay? Where are they? Guess they didn't want to come with you. You can tell tomorrow. My girls and I are going home. They didn't want to go with me. They didn't even want me to touch them. Don't worry. Tomorrow, when you are able to take them, you will have help from the police and the consulate. What if he disappears again? He knows I have friends watching him. He won't go anywhere. Hey, you two. How are you? Welcome, ladies. Your friend here arrived before you, so we've been getting to know one another. Come on, join us. Have something to eat. Drink. We are here to return the girls to their mother. Well, I was just telling the police chief how they don't want to go with her, because why would they want to leave this beautiful country, huh? And you are? He's the court bailiff. He's here to make sure that you follow the court order. Bring them. Okay. You can see them. <laughs> Marianti! Meredith! Hi. Hey. <laughs> see? I told you she was going to try to take you to America. Girl, you must go with your mother now. We don't want to go. We're happy here. We have toys, friends, and family. What did I tell you? They don't want to go. Do you? So, why do you want to take them? Huh? They're happy. I told you, sir. It doesn't matter. Okay. Marianti. That little doll I know you love. That was a gift from our friend Anne. Do you remember her? She used to come over all the time. She'd always bring you both the toy. Meredith, you have one of those, too. You even made a little house for it. It's back at home, where your friends are. So why don't, why don't we go now, back home, where everything is waiting for you? Yeah? Come on. No. <laughs> Ο φίλος σας παραβιάζει τον νόμο, αν δεν επιστρέψει τα κορίτσια. Πηγαίνετε με την μητέρα σας. Go. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, get in the car. You can still charge him with kidnapping. She wouldn't dare. 
do it. They say it over, Elizabeth. They're my children in my country. You know what I told you would happen if you take them back. Here is where you can spend the night. No, thank you, Penelope, but we need to leave tonight. There are no flights until the morning. Okay, well, we'll take a bus or a train. Miss or... Meredith, you have no need to worry. You have had Mr. Diakos arrested. But how long can they hold him? Because they told me that if I came back, he would kill me. And the consulate is the safest place to be, and I assure you, we will have you on a flight first thing in the morning. Okay. You get dressed, brush teeth, and then I can tie up your hair however you'd like. Yeah? No. Marianti, you have to brush your teeth, okay? Ipa ohi malik mine! I know it's been a long time, but when we were back home, we would wake up, we'd brush teeth, brush hair, and then we'd go eat breakfast. Yeah? Come on, come on, let me show you what we've got. Over here, see? <laughs> Marianti, they have cereal. It's your favorite. Okay, how about this? Um, we eat breakfast and then we brush teeth. Sound good? Okay. Come on. You must leave quickly. What happened? Greg has already been released. you Elizabeth Meredith? Yes. You're under arrest for kidnapping. Please. No, you don't you don't understand. It with I Bring the you have got this wrong. This is not the Miss Wayne. It's okay, girls. I oh I'm not the one that did this. He did this. It's please. Please, you, you have to listen to me. My ex-husband, he's the one who kidnapped them. Just check the FBI's NCIC database. Please. Be quiet. We have people checking on your claims. If you would just call the consulate. <laughs> hey, Guinea. What, what is it? What are they saying? You are being released. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I got you out as fast as I could. Your girls are with the police. Okay. What did I tell you? There is a warrant out for your arrest, Greg, because you kidnapped them. How dare you? This is where they belong, with me, their father. You don't take care of them. You don't even bathe them. You're just... Do <sighs> Go ahead. Hit me. 
at me again. Show them all who you really are. Enough. The decision has been made. She's being released. But she's taking children. We've confirmed that your charges against her for kidnapping are false. Come, I take you to your daughters. But you cannot leave the country. What? No, no, no. I, I have legal custody. I can take them home. We've heard from the district attorney. Mr. Diakos has appealed for custody arrangements. What? So there must be a hearing before you can leave. How can she appeal? There is a warrant for his arrest. Greece doesn't recognize those charges. <laughs> so the court now will decide what's best for the children. Until then, they can stay with you. I told you this wasn't over. Stop me. What? And now I have to go to court and plead my case, and I... I don't even know if I have a lawyer anymore. I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. I wish Michael could help. No, no, it's not. That's not why I called. I just... I just wanted to hear a friendly voice. I'm coming out there. And don't try and talk me out of it, because you need someone on your side. <laughs> I'm... I will not argue with you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Hector, hi. It's Elizabeth. Uh, I really need your help. Can you please give me a call back at the number I left? Thank you. You're a stupid, stupid girl. Oh, no, no, no. What did she do? This. Well, that was just an accident, though. I mean, we all have accidents. Doesn't make us stupid. And it certainly doesn't mean that we can hurt somebody. Yeah? Here. It is a beautiful day. What do you guys think about getting out of here? You know, we could go to the beach or the park or... Yes, please. Yes? Marianthi? Okay, let's do it. Come on, come on. Go check it out. See how fast those slides are. Yeah? <laughs> Come on. Woohoo! Hi, Mommy. Yeah? Okay. How high do you want to go? We're high. We're high, the highest you've ever been. Push me. Yeah, sure. Hello. Hector, I wanted to introduce you to my daughters, Meredith and Marianthi. Girls, this is the man who's going to help us. Did you know? Hi, girls. Hi. I'm Tally. I'm a friend of your mother's. Would you like some candy? We have a bowl here for special clients. Come. We'll pick flavors. Should I ask how you found them? No. All right. Now I guess we have work to do to get you all home. Kios? Ah, malista. Kalos. Efkaristo. 
Απλά, the proceedings will be heard by Judge Georgiou. Okay. I've never been in his court, but you have a strong case. No, no, I, I, I don't want them to have to go through that. I, I know, and I'm sorry, but it has to be so. Okay. You ready? You know what to say. Good morning, Judge. Oh, you must be Elizabeth Meredith. Why don't you sit? And your mother can wait outside. So, tell me. If there was one person in the whole world you'd call your daddy, who would that person be? had forgotten, these are for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're so very welcome. <sighs> so how are they? Better. Whole lives to undo the damage that was done here because there is no way that Greg is going to win this case. <laughs> oh. mm. You found them. I found them. I found them. You found them. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, can I just have a second? Okay, girls. All right, so just remember, when you talk to the judge, just tell him the truth, okay? That's all he wants to hear. Remember of him to hire a woman, but don't worry, it won't change him. Courts operate differently. This hearing is about child kidnapping. The father abducted the children from Alaska. And then the mother attempted to do the same here. Your Honor, this is not the same. She already had custody. She is not in America, Your Honor. We have our own laws. Gregory, the course, I work at the Hotel Castoria. Really? And how is that possible? It's been closed for five years. Uh, I meant to say uh, Hotel Largos. Mm. And did you kidnap your daughters and bring them to Greece? No, never. Their mother said I could take them. And now I'm being falsely accused by a woman who does not even have a relationship with her own mother. But here in Greece, my daughters have family. Mr. Diakos, why have your daughters only been in school for 60 days in almost two years? We are busy. Working at Hotel Castoria? <laughs> Miss Meredith. Ma'am, is it true social workers have been called to your home in Alaska for abusing your children? How does he know that? Greg would call them every time I refused to reconcile with him, and every time they found his claims to be false. Why did you not want to reconcile with your husband? 
Because in the four years I was married to Greg, he gambled, did drugs, rarely held down a job. There were days he wouldn't even come home, and when he did, he would beat me in front of his daughters. There are police records. Your Honor, those records have no merit in our country. My whole life has been about protecting my girls, providing a safe and stable home for them, a home where they have friends, where they go to school every day, where I never denied their father the right to see them, but I never gave him permission to take them. And ever since the day that Greg kidnapped them, I have been trying to get them back even after he threatened to kill me for my efforts. Because, because I love my girls. I love my girls with my whole being. So please, please don't ask them to choose where they want to live. Just let them come home, back to the life they knew before they were taken from me. Thank you for your candor, Miss Meredith. But in order for me to make a ruling, I must speak to your girls. Okay. But I will do so gently. Thank you. The judge has been talking to them for over an hour. You don't know that he's been with them the whole time. She's right. He's likely taking his time to make a ruling. Is that a good thing? Everyone agrees he seemed very sympathetic to your testimony. And he laughed in Greg's face. What do you really think, Anne? I think everyone knows that you're telling the truth. It is clear that the children were taken illegally from their mother's custody and brought to Greece. But the children have now been in Greece for almost two years, and uprooting them again would be a mistake. As such, I am awarding custody to their father, Gregory Diakos. <laughs> Elizabeth Meredith, once you have been served, you will have three days to return the girls to their father. <laughs> How did this happen? Everyone could see he was lying. Which makes me think Greg's lawyer made a deal with the judge and the decision was already made. It would explain how he knew details of your marriage. She can get away with that? It happens. So that judge put my girls through all of that questioning when he already knew the answer. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I really thought you had this one. No. No, no, no. That, no that, that, that can't be it. That's not it. Look, they're not going to honor the Hague Convention or the warrant against him. Just none of it? No. But we can keep fighting. File an appeal. You have three days until his custody begins. again at the airport. He doesn't feed us. He leaves us alone. And when I tried to have a friend and gave her some of her chocolate, he choked me. Baby, none of that was your fault. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Baby, what, what, what are you sorry for? I, I told that man that I only want to visit you, that I want to stay here. <laughs> That's what daddy tells me to say. Yeah. But I don't want to stay, so it's all my fault. 
No, 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 no. Come here, come here, baby. It is not your fault, okay? None of this is your fault. And I will never stop trying to get us all home together. I promise you. What is it, Lizbeth? Are we moving? Oh, Lizzie, me and Tony are. Sorry, but there's no room for you in the mobile. So where am I supposed to go? I don't know. Stay with a friend? Go live with your sister in Seattle, maybe? You'll figure it out. Damn it! Even if I stay here, he'll never play by the rules. He'll just disappear with them again, and I... I can't give them back to him knowing he's gonna hurt them. I have to get them back home, back to Alaska, where my custody will be recognized. There's an airport on the island of Kos. Last time I was there, they had no computerized passport system. From there, you can fly anywhere. But how would she get to the island? By ferry. I could have a friend meet you when it docks as your husband, so it doesn't look suspicious. I mean, that could work. As long as Greg doesn't catch me. They said we can't. But sometimes you have to do what you know is right. And as your mother, I know that we need to get home to Alaska. But it's not going to be easy. So I need you both to tell me right now. Do you really want to come with me? I do. Yeah. Me too. Good. OK. Then I'm going to tell you the plan. Elizabeth Meredith. Σε ποιο δωμάτιο είναι. Η κυρία Meredith έχει κάνει check-out. Με τα παιδιά μου, ρε! Κάνε αυτό που σου λέω! Go, go, go. That 
way, that way, that way. Go, okay, go down the stairs. Down the stairs. Quickly. I'm the last taxi for the night. Do you need a ride? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, I don't, um... I don't think he's coming. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go, this way. I'd like a room, please. Passports. Alaska? Yeah. Room number nine. Thank you. Good night, Alaska. Hi. Uh, I'm looking for a woman. Hi, Daddy. 
No, I looked for you for so long. I know. that the more they talk about it, the more they'll heal, so. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get through it. Mm. I have you. Well, you know, the strong ones. I'm just the lucky one that gets to be here for all of it. Can you come push me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, you ready? Hmm? Me what? too. You too. Come here. Come sit right here. Here we go. 